is park materials. We will begin our search for Ceruleum in Regio Urbanissima. The first location is Forum Solius, a park to the northwest of the station. You are to remain close at all times and act only as ordered. Follow me. Okay. I mean, we gotta do what we gotta do, right? To so think this macabre graveyard of Wachama where Machina was once a park. So this is the park. I'm surprised they found space in, for one amongst all these buildings. Actually, the recreational areas came first. The houses were, were built around them. A healthy society requires communal spaces for children to play and adults to socialize. This park was named after the founding father of the empire, the great Solus Vosaltz Galvis. Did we come to extract a room from the wrecked magic armor? No, we have already drained it dry. Same goes for the rest of the Mechan and the vicinity. But as our ceruleum has been stolen, we must scour the city for every last drop. And while I don't expect to find anything here, I've decided to try it one more time, in case something has been overlooked. I see, then with your permission, we will commence the search. Search for Ceruleum in Forum Solius. Map of Forum Solius. Several points of interest are marked on the map. The pond, children's play areas. To your knowledge, however, none, none will require use of Ceruleum. Hello, me. Any luck? Hardly surprising but disappointing under this. I couldn't help noticing you gazing at the pond. Is something that matter? What? Yes. I mean, no. I'm... I used to bring my brother and sister here to play. The pond was heated to stop it from freezing over, so like all the other children, they just had to wade in and splash about. Would have stayed there if I didn't drag them out. They'd be sopping wet when all was said and done. Every time. And every time when we'd get home, mother would scold us, saying we'd catch our death walking around like that. The pond was heated. With a cerulean power heater by chance. I suppose it must have been. Come to think of it, I remember seeing engineers changing out the tank beneath a hatch. But that was a long time ago, when the water still flowed clear and wasn't this brackish muck. We can't see a thing and I can't remember what the hatch might be. With the machinery most likely broken, the amount of filth in there is probably the only reason it hasn't frozen over. I'd wager you're still unbearably cold though. What are your thoughts on magic? What? The average guardian would jump out of their skin if they saw it, but the but the first has a few foreign Signifery? And many What the fuck is that? What the fuck? What are those words? Then I take it you won't mind if I employ you a little now? I have to know, as you have a knack for finding dry wood, why don't you bring me some? Once that's done, a blast of bare fire should do the trick. Leave it to me. You're not planning to go in there, are you? Of course I am. That tank isn't going to fetch itself. 
nothing to involve as extracting unprocessed cerulean from a frozen lake, like how the tapers do it. We're taking, we're talking about a shallow pond and a park, and we have a way of warming ourselves up after all. But that's insane. So, fancy a dip. <laughs> Step aside, my <laughs> I'm gonna drink the pond dry. <laughs> <laughs> that made it the stupidest thing I've ever heard in a while. Oh my god, and that's saying something considering who's my brother. I can't fault your enthusiasm though. Let's do it my way first. And if that doesn't work, perhaps then you can try your method. <laughs> With Alfino's help. <laughs> oh my god. I don't want to get in the water. Let's go. You delve into the murky water, but come up empty-handed. I'm not even touching it! Fuck it. Chilled it to the bone. You delve into the murk. Okay. Interacting. Holy children, heal me! <laughs> Woo, let's go, we found it! I have nothing in my hand. <laughs> However, your grand discovery comes at a great personal cost. As you become acutely aware of the freezing cold and rancid odor. Oh, my poor... My poor Rhea. You might as well just use it again. Did you find anything? I hope you... I did. Here you go, bitch. That's it! And there's still some serene left. The fire's still not ready. Hold on, I'll give it off in our hand. I like how he calls us by name. That's, that's cool, that's dope. Call me an old dawn because by fire I am reborn, and my clothes are mostly dry now, too. I appreciate you recovering the cerulean, but I wish you'd taken the time to discuss the plan with me beforehand. Despite the way you've tr you've been treated in Lord Quintus's eyes, you're still envoys deserving of protection. If you were to die on my watch, you would have been he would have been most displeased. Your concern is duly noted, but all's well that ends well. I am sharing boots with these two. You mentioned coming here with your younger siblings. Did you grow up in Garlemald? I did, not far from here. My father was an accomplished researcher in his youth, and for his contributions to the Empire awarded an estate. We lived well, better than many. That was Garlemald like what was Garlemald like in those days? Everything. It was everything you could imagine. And so much more. Even the coldest winters, we always found warmth and comfort at home. Coming in from the snow, taking off your coat and sitting down for a hot meal with family. Visiting friends and relatives, receiving that same welcome, knowing they had everything they needed. Walking down the street, seeing the lights in all the houses, hearing the faint sounds of laughter and song of happiness. And although the summers came and went all too quickly, in that brief respite, the ice would melt and the forgotten grass 
make his triumphant return. Gray clouds gave way to blue skies. Some mornings, we climbed to the top of the tallest building we could find to watch the sun rise. Never again. Those rooftops are rubble. Those friends dead. And those memories. But if I could reclaim even a fraction of what we once had, soon our chance will come. We just need to hold on a little longer. His park materials. Damn it, dude. Boom, 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 boom. Owing to the wealth of experience I've accrued in gathering firewood, I was able to provide Julius with some basic pointers on the subject. I... Oh, the music. I thought it might help to further build a report, and to distract him from his other concerns. You are smart, Alfie, no? Well, at least my clothes are finally dry, so they can still do with a little proper wash. True. No good deed. Now that you've recovered from your escapades on the pond, there's another location I like to search, just outside the park. Let's go! Hold up. As you can see, this place is littered with the remnants of various types of war machina, while my comrades and I have already recovered the tanks from the less damaged units. Those that took the more severe beating are harder to scavenge. We decided to save those for another time, that being now. Rather than prise them apart piece by piece, it would be quicker to remove the outer casing using compact explosives. With luck, we'll gain access to the tanks without rupturing them. Though the force generated by these devices is relatively weak, I would advise you to stand well clear. Before even bothering, though, you should check the Machina's Cerulean gauge to see if there's any left. If the gauge is broken, I'll let you decide whether to use an explosive or not. So you need more, come to me. Okay. Let's get to work. I wonder how many we have to do. Woo! Let's see. Dude, dude, I found one! With this, we should be able to refuel quite a few of our heaters. It's time we head back. I have a feeling like that he's starting to like... Unfinomenalize. Right? It's giving me the vibe. I may be full of shit, I may not. Who knows? Finally escaped the watchful gaze of your keepers, have we? Oh, fucking Dankrid. Don't react. You'll only draw attention to yourself. Just carry on as you are and listen. After you left with the Garlean lad, Lucia bade a few of our scouts follow you at a discreet distance. We observed you being led into the station, but decided against venturing inside. Okay. When you emerged sometime later, and we saw that the twins were sporting Magitek collars, it was clear what had taken place. Now, so they know. as quietly as you can, tell me everything. The Legatus himself, eh? Now there's a surprise. This is also the first I've heard of a plan to join forces with the Tenth and storm the Tower of Babel. An interesting development, and perhaps the opportunity we've been waiting for. Oh? Our comrades back at the camp also received some rather promising news. 
but it's still too early to get our hopes up. Oh? For now, keeping yourselves out of harm's way comes before all else. Whatever demands the Garleans make, indulge them. Yes, Daddy. With luck, this will all be over soon. Until then. They had not gone far. We searched high and low, but no luck, I'm afraid. I might have guessed you'd be the only one to find anything. <clears throat> I mean... I wasn't expecting much to begin with. Eventually, there will be nothing left out here for us to safely salvage. For now, this will have to suffice. We should return to the station. Yes, sir. Let's go. Who's ah, this? there you are. Oh. Heard you'd gone hunting for ceruleum above ground. Yes, sir. Brought back a king's ransom. Yes, sir. Kind of. Hardly. But thanks to these three, we have enough to last a little while longer. Well, well. It's not at all as I was expecting, these ones. But for savages, they seem positively docile. Uh, it's a poor attempt at humour. In all honesty, I'm grateful for your efforts. But even with another night of warmth, there are those among us who may not live to see the morrow. Oh, God. I trust your expedition was fruitful. Lord Quintus! Use what you procured to refuel the armor. The armor? But, sir... What about the heaters for the camp? The time for action is upon us. He can be right. He can be. My men and I have matters to discuss. In the meantime, you are to wait here. Do not forget, you are being watched. the Tower of Babel? I can only speculate. Clearly something requiring their Magitech, given what we just heard. Whether they plan to utilize it now, or after they join with the Tenth, is another question. escape this cult? Return to and reclaim the idyllic spaces of which Eula spoke? Finished your war, Council? I don't like this. Alphino and Alizea are to stay here. As our prisoners. What they the will fuck? be released once your comrades have relinquished their supplies and withdrawn from Garlean soil. Until our terms are met, they will be detained at a separate location. After everything we've said and done, this is how you treat us. Our allies have but limited supplies. 
They may stave off cold and starvation for a short while, but what then? For now, For now, keeping yourselves out of harm's way comes before all else. Whatever demands the Garleans make, indulge them. Everything will be okay. Have faith. He's literally shaking. He doesn't want to do it. Get them out of here. Dude, I cannot wait to kick Quintus's ass. Oh my god, dude. Julius, I know, I know it's not your fault, dude, but... Fuck you, man. The good deed. God damn it, dude. Oh, this is where we're gonna see that the cutscene. You will accompany me back to the camp, where you, I will meet with your leader and present Lord Quintus's demands. Before we depart, however, there is something I will ask of you. Assuming your contingent complies and the, su the supplies they surrender will need to be transported here. That task falls to the legionaries and Octavia who will pilot magic armor to your headquarters. You are to inform them that we are leaving shortly. Tell them to ask the eel for further details. Once you have seen that, meet me by the exit. Family guy. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this dude. What's up, dude? What do you mean by that? You and I are in this together. Like it or not, we have to uh, hey, we, blah, blah, blah. we have to cooperate. There is one other matter. I, a place I like to visit on the way to your camp. It's a short walk from here. Follow me. Wait here. Yeah, it is definitely his house. This is my home. Our home. Mm -hmm. At least it was until that night. I was with Lord Quintus when the capital fell, and thus spared. My family, who did not own a radio, were less fortunate. When dawn came, I made my way here. My parents, my little brother and sister, they were still inside. But they weren't themselves, and they... they tried to... And I had to. He killed them. I had promised to take them away from the capital that very morning, to somewhere safe, to hide until the fighting stopped. Promised. The Garlean flag bears a chain, the bonds between our countrymen. A red link at its center, the blood of the fallen. 
our loved ones who lived and died for Garlemald. Fuck. They got but dark. if she too fell, who would be left to remember them and their sacrifice? What enduring proof would there be that they were ever here? If we had turned to your gods, would they have saved us? We don't have any gods. I'm sorry, forget I spoke. We should go. No use. Believe me, I do not enjoy being here any more than you. But she wanted us to play along, so that is what we will do. Oh yeah, this is where we... They are. <laughs> Fucking <at least. laughs> Alice de Tsundere. <laughs> it's so cold. Painfully mm. so. Unbearably. I remember how much I disliked them, and I love them so much right now. I've been thinking about what Quintus said. About why no one would accept Garlean rule. Irreconcilable differences. When coexistence isn't an option, only conquest remains. Varys at Gimlet said much the same. Only by uniting the world beneath a single standard would we rid ourselves of the Asians. United, as one people, one race cleansed of imperfections. A cold and unforgiving vision. And when we fail to live up to their standards, what place is there for us in their world? But the truly sad, Truly frustrating thing is how damnably similar it all is to the lofty ideals of Father and the Forum. Non-intervention. Always non-intervention. Protect our knowledge and our people and to hells with the rest of you. And yet, I can see how it happened. Varys and Father looked to their elders for guidance and took their virtues as their own. But for this world was of their making. In who else could they place their trust? All of us lost in a sea of chaos. Searching desperately for purpose and meaning. But it shouldn't just be an extension of another's. It has to be ours. It has to be. We all have a stake in this world. No one should be silenced. I won't deny that we lack the experience of people such as Father or Quintus. Perhaps they've come to see the world as a series of problems, and the most efficient way of solving them, to reduce everything to fundamental forms. A stone is a stone, a cloud a cloud, a flower no more than that. Simple descriptions that strip the subject of distinguishing characteristics. A man is a man, divided according to race, creed, or allegiance, and to some, defined by such associations. Yeah, even us. Is that what you think? In my misbegotten youth, but what I believed wisdom was no more than aggressive ignorance. I've since learned to look beyond the banners and the politics. 
to see people as individuals with their own hopes and dreams. As for my dream of building a better world, well, every day I'm reminded that it is far more complex than I had ever imagined. But it only spurs me onward to find the wisdom and the strength to see it through to the very end. Yeah. Do the best we can. Now what's gonna happen here? All of our supplies and an immediate withdrawal. These are your conditions. Demands. And you forgot about the airship. Once again, you will leave one behind. It will be used to return the prisoners. Their collars will be removed prior to the exchange. So in the end, not even father's expertly worded rhetoric could deter you from your chosen course. Huh? <laughs> not that I thought for a moment that it would. I've no love for violence, of course. But ours is a cause worth fighting for. I just wish he'd realize it too. Dude, Sometimes the, the only way to protect the ones so you love is to take a stand. To refuse to suffer in silence. I want you to know I share your conviction. Whether it be on the battlefield or in the debating chamber, I won't back down. I guess what I'm saying is... Aww. You've found your own reason to fight. Yes. Yes, I have. God's willing, there will come a day when we can finally lay down our arms and there will be peace. These two fuckers, I love them. But not until the Telophoroi have been defeated once and for all. And you, brother, will have a vital part to play. By your words and deeds, you'll lead the way. This sounds like a diss flag. I pray Stop. I am up to the task. There'll always be naysayers. Those who think us fools for even trying. It's easy for learned elites to criticize earnest efforts and assert their moral superiority all without offering alternatives. Not that their sophistry has ever wounded you. So stubborn and strong. Stronger than you even know. Don't ever change, you hear me? If you stumble, I'll be there to catch you. Or give you a thick ear. Maybe both, for good measure. <laughs> Thank you, Alice. Oh, now he's the one that. Oh. Get fucking twins. <gasps> Woo! Stinky! The scouts have secured Alizé and Alfino. Their collars were removed without complication as well. <laughs> they report no casualties, not for their party nor the guards who will wake from their premature slumber in due course. Thank you, Stinky. They are fucking awesome. It would appear the situation has changed. I propose new terms. We have information that will be of great interest to Lord Quintus. And I wish to speak with him in person. Ooh! Lucia! Oh my god, baby! In part, I think he's happy. No. In the event you rejected our first proposal, we came prepared with a second. Oh, the magic. So that's what it meant? Mm. 
really? Are you really this dumb with just More six people? Make ready. Never mind. We, the loyal soldiers of the First Legion, proud servants of Garlemald, of the fallen Emperor Varys, shall safeguard these lands from the barbarian hordes until our countrymen return! Stop! Both of you! Oh? Brother-in-law, what's up? This child may be the worst emissary I have ever seen. What happened? We received an urgent communication from the Grand Company of Eorzea. Envoys from the Imperial Army, led by members of the 10th Legion, came to Alamigo and requested an audience. They explained that their efforts to coordinate the reclamation of the capital with the aid of the 4th, 5th, 8th and 12th had ended in failure. Communication between most legions has broken down entirely. Most of the 10th's conscripts have deserted, leaving their forces severely depleted. That is why, unable to continue the fight on their own, they and their allies turned to the Grand Company of Eorzea for aid. Lies. Every word. It is the truth, and I have not finished. The Tenth has requested that we deliver a message to Lord Quintus. Have the ill stand down. You have been listening, my lord? What... what are your orders? What are you gonna do now, Quintus? Bastard. Inform her that we will honor the tenth decision. Bereft of hope and now dignity. I release you from your duty. All of you. Oh? I take solace, your radiance, in the knowledge you are not here to witness our debasement. It was a grand, glorious dream we shared. Was that in the game or was that me? Of a world oh my united. God. Of peace and prosperity. We are ghosts, you and I. Memories of days gone by. Bonds forged in blood that I will not see tarnished. No shot. himself What the fuck Quickly we have to reach the station before it's too late Ooh. If there is still oh, a chance yeah, that Quintus will agree to a truce we must take it. I just hope we get there before he and his men do something rash. Fuck, we have Stinky. He did shoot himself.
fuck, dude. This is getting darker and darker and darker. Oh my goodness. Even the Empire in ruins, the Guardians have not lost the will to fight. That strength shall serve them in days to come. There is yet life in this cold soil. What's up, Pippin? Thank goodness. Thank goodness the 10th Legion decided to sue for peace when they did. We have been spared most senseless bloodshed, bloodshed, which is the last thing anyone, including the first, needs. From their perspective, though, the promise of reinforcements was their last hope, and now they have no choice but to ca capitulate <laughs> to the invaders. But we will provide to them the most. Okay. Sorry, but I'm gonna continue. Much and more has occurred since last we met. As for determining what comes next, we must speak with Lord Kentis. Well, he's fucking dead. He is dead, Lucia.